Hello, this is Michael Grant, CAM Applications Engineer with Applied CAX. Today I'm going to answer a support question in regards to off-axis drilling using feature-based machining. I'm going to show a couple different ways to do this, but um, also go over the requirements needed to be able to do off-axis drilling. This will also cover if you were doing 5-axis, it's any uh, multi-axis or non-normal to Z um, vector uh, drilling. So on this, I'm going to use the sample file, uh, SIMO4 sample. Um, I'll try to put a link to be able to download this um, as I'm going to make some mod modifications. I'm going to add a couple uh, drilled holes here on the, on the side face. So I'll go ahead and uh, do a sketch in this pocket. I'll go ahead and set the uh, origin for the sketch on the uh, center of this face. Go ahead and set it to coincident and midpoint so that it's uh, going to be uh, even from center. I'll do a, a quarter twenty tapped hole, and I've already set. Uh, my drill for the pre-drill uh, 201 drill. Alright, looks good. Go back to manufacturing here and uh, it recognizes that I've made a change to the part but I know that I haven't done anything to affect uh, the tool pass so I just forced to prove. Um, so a couple things uh, when it comes to being able to do um, off-axis drilling, we'll go ahead and try it before I enable it on the MCS, as I, I believe you can um, do manual off-axis drilling, um, but we'll go ahead and see. So I'm going to say uh, insert operation, hole making, and uh, I'll go ahead and just go right to drilling and I don't think I loaded a uh, spot drill. Alright, and then um, I'm going to manually uh, just select them. So when doing this, uh, you'll, you'll go up here to specify geometry. You can either select uh, an arc on the edge of the hole or uh, the face inside. Um, if it has multiple steps or multiple features to the hole, uh, you'll want to make sure you're on the right feature and you'll kind of see uh, it change if you uh, change the feature. So I'm going to go ahead and accept that. It's recognizing the depth and the size. And then if I generate it, I get, um, you know, two drilled uh, holes so it should uh, recognize you know uh, the tool axis from the hole and then if you wanted to reduce the retract there um, under non-cutting moves you have a transfer rapid and instead of inherited you could go to something like a bounding cylinder maybe a half inch and then regenerate all right, so if we uh, simulate that, so it it, it rotates and it's uh, drilling those holes. If you had any issues with it not working, um, as you can see here, if I double-click the G54. Um, we don't have anything on here uh, 
a setting for tool axis. So this is from an older template. Uh, the new MCS, if if you created a new C MCS, um, it would have um, or should have the yeah tool axis here, as you can see. And it all axes means that it will resolve uh, an off axis uh, tool vector. If you had it forced to only plus Z, then it would uh, only allow drilling at plus Z. <clears throat> That's definitely when doing recognition. Um, I don't believe it'll limit you if you're doing it manually. Um, so if you don't have that option, what you can do is right click and go to object and customize. And then at the top here are the items that you don't have added in your dialog. So I, I'm just going to say add. Um, when I do this, it's going to add it to the very top. If you wanted it to be in a particular group, you would just uh, do down arrow until it's in the group. Um, if you want to uh, preview the dialog change, just hit this preview at the bottom. And then it shows me that it will be at the very top. So I'll say OK. And as you can see here, uh, it is right now only allowing for plus Z. Um, and so as I said, you, you can still do a manual uh, drill and it will allow it. But this, uh, the setting that we have here would prevent it from recognizing it on its own. So I'll go ahead and show you that. Um, if I've already answered your question, of course, you could stop. But I'll continue and show you the full recognition. So this I, I selected manually um, and the feature will still be here in the feature tree for uh, machining feature navigator. So I'm going to delete all f recognized features and make sure I have nothing left. Um, so the operation is gone, the feature is gone. So the next way you can do a uh, feature base is to recognize the feature and then add the operation manually so that's kind of the semi-automatic automatic. so there's uh, fully manual uh, just selecting features and then there's recognizing them automatically and applying the toolpath manually so I'll show you that step now so I, I right click in the uh, white space of the machining feature navigator but you can also go up here to your uh, ribbon bar and under the feature area there's find features. If you don't see that, um, you can turn it on here. Let's see. I'm not seeing it here right now. Home analysis. Oh, I guess it's under the home bar. Sorry. There we go. So if you cl click on the down arrow at the very end, um, you can see that uh, we have feature group, group enabled. So if you don't see that, you can go ahead and turn it on. So I'm going to do find features. And in this situation, I'm going to do parametric workpiece. And then the only group I'm going to have activated is steps. So it recognizes all of them. I'm going to say OK. And then while they're still uh, selected, I'm going to right click and say group features and predefined. Uh, it's just going to group them together uh, according to diameter and number of steps, but depth attributes are ignored um, as it says when you kind of roll over it. So you can see here uh, that it won't even create the groups because of that setting on the MCS. So it recognizes them, but it won't create them because we've told NX that we only want to recognize features that are, or sorry, not recognize, but we only want to apply toolpaths to features that are normal to Z. So I'll hit cancel and go back to the machining feature, our operation navigator, um, geometry view, and I'm going to go ahead and double click the G54 and then say all axes. So now if I go back here, select all and say group features still predefined now it creates the feature groups and so if I go to my uh, machining feature or operation navigator and geometry view I can s now see these groups 
So all I have to do is maybe, you know, there's a couple different ways to do this, but you could right click that group and say uh, insert operation, hole making, and then it remembers my last selection for all of these uh, locations. So I'll say OK, and then just generate. And so it's underneath that group. If you already had the uh, operation, maybe in your unused, or you have it in some template, you can just add it to that group, and then it will and generate it, and it will. Uh, uh, there, I added it to the wrong group. So as you can see there, it just it generates for whatever group that you're adding it to. So it's a great way to use like <clears throat> what we do here for our shop is we have templates, uh, saved operations, and when we recognize features we just add those operations to uh, the, the recognized groups. Now the last way <clears throat> is if you want to fully recognize uh, or automatically recognize and add uh, the operations and tools automatically. So I'll show you that. So I'm going to delete everything, delete all groups, <clears throat> and then also delete uh, the drill We'll go back here. Um, the recognition portion isn't any different, so I'm not going to recognize any differently. Um, you still uh, would follow the steps I did, but instead of going to selecting all and grouping, um, and of course you don't have to select all, you can select just the ones you want. Um, you select, um, in this case, I'm going to select all and go to create feature process. So this is where NX will take the out-of-the-box uh, process and rules and apply them to your fe recognized features. So it's going to look at uh, things like if you had PMI for uh, some kind of tolerance or finish. Um, you know, tolerance might change the process to include like reaming or boring. Um, but if you have no PMI attached to the feature, it's just going to apply the standard um, process but it will look at things like the chamfer um, it, it has a lot of uh, rules in regards to uh, how to create the process so create feature process and uh, which library I want to use um, you, it's because the rules have uh, priorities you could just select all um, or you can drill it down to uh, what you want to do so I'm going to have all selected, rule-based, and automatic for location. Um, I've got use existing for settings. Um, if you already had done this once and you wanted to do it again and create new groups, you would say always create new. So since I have a kind of a blank slate, I could say uh, use existing. So you can see it going through the recognition. Um, it added operations to everything except for the uh, large pocket. It probably didn't find a tool um, that fit that process. But if you wanted to then do that one more manual, you could say group feature. And now you'll have a group for that to be able to add your own operation and tool to. So for the other operations, um, you could see the 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 group looks a little different. Um, here's one that we did uh, manually through uh, group and then these are the fully auto uh, ones uh, that kind of have a different color. And so you can see they have a process under them so for those uh, holes if I generate that group it has the spot drill and the regular drill. Now in this machine this this particular face wouldn't work but uh, for this example, I'm just kind of showing how to how to recognize. And then for the side hole there, it recognized that it was threaded because I I added those inside of NX. Um, if they weren't and they came from a customer, you can tag them as threaded. Uh, generate. And so and here we have a spot, um, and the spot actually went deep enough to chamfer in one step. So. It recognized that there was a chamfer, and it created it uh, added some depth to the spot drill. So you, it did add the tools. I didn't point that out yet, but you can see here in my tool navigator, um, or the machine tool view, that uh, we have all the tools that FeatureBase uh, needed 
according to the rules to do um, these particular features. So there you go. Um, again, uh, either bring in a new MCS or customize it to enable off-axis. So uh, right-click, object, customize, and then just make sure you add that tool axis. If you wanted to add the tool axis to, you know, maybe your machine coordinate, uh, let me look at that again, where it normally lies. Um, I think it's usually under its own group, but um, one that can be collapsed. So I think this is fine. Um, when you add your own MCS, as I, I did show there, you can see it's it's just not much different. It's just under a collapsible group that could be hidden. All right. Well, thank you. Hopefully you find this helpful and uh, feel free to reach out uh, by email or contact us if you uh, have more questions or need more details. Thanks.